All right, guys. Real quick, I want to speak on keeping your moves silent. All right. So I wrote about this before. I don't know if I actually put a video video out on this, um, but whatever. Um, so the first thing I wanted to say was you don't want to celebrate before accomplishing anything. So I have experience with this. I've seen other people do it. So I just re I definitely got to address this one. So what happens is we're starting a celebratory phase by saying, hey, guys, this is what I'm about to do. I'm about to write a book and I'm about to put out music and I'm about to do all of this. And everybody goes, oh, yeah, man, yeah, yeah. you got to hit me up. The moment you drop that album, the moment you drop that mixtape, nothing feels better than that. OK, so nothing what you're about to endure months after will feel better than that right there. You know, people supporting you on the front end. Um, so for some people, it puts that right amount of pressure on them, forces them to get things done. I would have to say for most people who practice that are probably going to be some real good ass procrastinators because it's tough to drink that water when you had ice cream first. Let me just say, and the water is what you need. You know what I'm saying? So likewise, eating shit is what you need. It'd be much better if you ate shit and you didn't get anybody patting you on your back until you were finished. Then the celebration happens. Much better. Much better. And then it's like, because the way we anticipate things, we find that the anticipation is sometimes better than the actual thing. Which, if it's true, it's no problem. If, if that's not true in any particular case, it's really not. I more so just want to focus on the anticipation of actually having something is is great enough, all right. Um, but but damn, when you got the celebration already, there's nothing to anticipate, all right. Because now you now you feel like it's supposed to be as relaxing, as inviting, as motivating, as celebrating. But the truth is, it's going to take a lot of groundwork. OK, it's you know, it's kind of like having a party before setting up the party. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's like, well, shit, why would I want to set up the party when I'm already party? You know what I'm saying? But you got to set up. Otherwise, it's all it's all downhill from that moment, you know, and you ain't going to want to do anything. You're like, well, nothing feels better than what I had going on. First one, you know, my man was hyping me up. So then what you do is you go get more people to hype you up. And you do even less. And after a while, you know, that bit of guilt may build up. And it's like, damn, I ain't really been doing anything. And then the conversations go down. Like, you now you don't really want to tell people about, you know, now you're not as excited. You're not as motivated and you got a lot less confidence now. Because when people want to ask you about it, like, yeah, man, how, you, yeah, you put out that, you know, you put out that song, what, what you doing? And you like, well, yeah, man, yeah, man, you know, work and all that, you know. So now you're like building up even a uh, even bigger mountain where it's even more unbearable to climb. You don't feel motivated. You're looking for motivation. But you don't understand that motivation is actually going through it. You know, that's that's the that's just the best way to get it. That's all I can really tell you. No matter what video you choose to listen to, it it, it comes from here. Now, now naturally, you know, you listen to some of these motivational speakers or what have you, and they tell you their story, and they show you that it's possible. That works. But still, you got to show yourself eventually. Or you're not, you know, you're going to start buying into these stories that they tell you as you know, a unicorn story. Like, oh, that was them. All right. So you really got to take a glimpse, a strong glimpse into your own life. I mean, you got to have zeroed in focus on your own life to really see what you can overcome and, and how you're going to do that. And it may take a lot of planning, obsessive planning. To make a, a you know, you got to make a crazy person out of yourself, as I like to speak on. And then you use that to um, tackle the way, uh, tackle life however 
uh, you see fit. But, you know, that's just a long way of saying uh, don't celebrate before you actually did something worth celebrating. All right. Um, but a lighter version of that is just to talk to somebody who can keep you accountable. That's all. No celebrating uh, until we get there. Just say, hey, this is what I want to do. I mean, I don't know if I can do it. It's been done before. You know, can you kick me in the ass every once in a while? It's just something. All right, so that may work. Um, and even if the uh, other option did work, I would still kind of go for the kick on the ass. Um, just so you don't so you don't let up. All right. Uh, so the next thing is just um, another reason why you want to keep your moves silent is just uh, you know you, you want no no haters no naysayers no doubters in your ear because they come in many forms you know you you think that because somebody is your best friend that they're going to praise you for you taking on a new uh, new journey in life and some may some may want to. But that bit of envy in them will get in the way. And uh, the reality that some a lot of people don't want to see you doing better than them is will, will come into effect. I remember reading this meme or reading something on Facebook where they were saying, when you have a conversation with somebody who's close to you about something that you're really excited about, and once you tell them it gets pretty quiet after that, pay attention to that, man. So that could mean a couple things. It could be it could mean that you d just um uh secretly dealing with some some haters, some doubters, some people who don't really want to see you do better than them. You know, it can mean that it can mean that just the insecurities in them won't allow for other people to be excited because it will kind of cast a light on all that they're missing out on and you know, all that they feel like they don't have in their lives so that definitely stirs up the envy so and hey some people may just not just not care just not care for some people you're only as good as what you can do for them all right so around your homeboys around your mans and all them they might see you as a clown like literally a fool like your 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 goal is to to make them laugh all right now, it may not be defined, but your goal is to make them laugh. Y'all get high, they you know they they get you high or something like that. You don't always have money like that. They get you drunk, and you make them laugh, all right. But once you you upgrade from that and you start to get something going for yourself, and you know you're not necessarily with the jokes anymore, you know then they feel a different way about what lights you up, you know. They didn't, they didn't care too much about that that then when you were that fool. But then they see you coming up. And all of a sudden, they, they ain't responding the same way. Alright? So. So. Again, the naysayers, the doubters. Alright? The people who ain't really ambitious enough in their own lives. Who aren't going for anything. Alright? Just just keep it away from them, bro, until it come out. Let them let them hate on something that's already out there. All right, you don't need nobody in your ear saying, "Well, damn, boy, how, how you gonna get money? You know how you gonna get money right away, or, or you know the chances of you making it doing this is slim." You know, you, st stay away from all of that. All right, just because they don't believe in themselves, don't mean you gotta walk around not believing in yourself. You know how fucking dumb that sounds. Like seriously. Seriously, all these stupid ass motherfuckers around us trying to put their dumb ass opinions on us. Keep that to yourself, all right? It's already bad enough that you done reproduced, and then your reproduction is done reproduced, and that's just gonna keep going on. It's just raising a bunch of idiots, all right? Take that shit to the graveyard with you. Because we ain't trying to hear none of that. Alright? So, this is why I like to spend more time on myself. Get confident by doing. 
by you know, and just by believing in myself, and you know, and being positive when I can be. All right, so life ain't always going to always be that way. It's not always going to be positive, but you just take it in. You just take in the good. All right, so um, the final thing is, I mean, it's pretty obvious, but I don't care too much about that. Is that people be stealing? All right, so. As far as putting your ideas out there, let's say you type your ideas on Facebook. I want to do this. I want to do that. All right. I, you know, they steal your ideas, man. I mean, simple as that. It's best to already have a head start and you already got things going for you. If people want to see what you're doing as the way, all right, well, then fine. Let them try to catch up to that because you always thinking ahead anyway. You already thinking about what's new. Let them, hey, look, let them piggyback off you, all right? I don't see anything different from like music in different countries who will start playing music that was old in America in, in their day. For example, all right, so let's say a uh, Chinese band, they started making disco music. Obviously, disco music was a thing f for us in what, late 70s, early 80s, and all that. Um, well, I mean, maybe all the 70s. I don't know what it, when the disco thing was, but close enough. But, um, you know, they start doing things. Well, let them have it, man. We already moving on. We moving on the rap. Okay, now they want to do it. All right. So, look, man, we just keep developing. We just keep going ahead and doing, you know, pushing the envelope, man. We ain't worried about who trying to, uh, who trying to copy our style. We trying to redefine what it means to be us. You know, as as the time goes on, because we're always going to be redefining ourselves anyway. But anyway, you know, keep your mood silent. Keep everybody out your business. It ain't for everybody. You don't need to give them the play by play, the step by step. If they ain't with you in the gym, you don't need to tell them about the buckets that you made. All right. Let news get around through word of mouth, through other people. All right. Like. For real. I'm start. I'm starting to think that. As far as um, who speaks for you, like I, I'm, I'm a firm believer that you need to speak up for yourself and things like that. But I mean, I think the biggest ambassador should just be the people around you. Let them say what they need to say because they're going to, whether they hate you or, or they like you. Like you trying to defend yourself against the masses who may come your way. It's a waste of time, man. Just focus on putting out some, putting out your best content, put out your best heart, you know, whatever you, whatever you have to offer, man. Put out the best of you, and just, just deal with it, man. Just accept life as it comes. But yeah, keep your, keep your mood silent, man. They don't need to know anything. All right. So like and subscribe.